Welcome back to Natural Born Joysticks Hits with this extremely hyped Horizon. And I have the extension pack for uh, Frozen Wilds or whatever. So we'll see what that's about eventually. If I don't get bored with this, I got some qualms with this game. I'm telling you, I got qualms. So we're going to play it a little bit and I'm going to point them out as we go. Just try to get into this vault with my DNA sequencing being very similar to my mother's and I was unable to, so I'm just checking my armpits for stink because I'm wearing a lot of raw hide. We're going to get this ginger out of here and uh, first thing we'll comment on is that nappy fucking weave that she's got. You know, you sit in the public transportation sometimes in a bus or a train and you see that one bum that smells like piss, sweat, or both. Yes. And they just got this matted clump of hair. Some kind of super dreadlock. It's kind of what's going on here. There was just so much hair going on. There's so much to track. It just made it look like a fucking snuffleupagus woolly booger. And you should have seen her when she was a kid. Holy crap, she was ugly. She was like the love child of Doris Day and fucking Carrot Top. Mixed with a little curly Sue, it was bad. It was very bad. She's a hideous child, and as a woman, she looks like some softball player. It's pudgy-faced, and it's nearly asexual. I don't know. I like her voice. That's, that's what we'll go with there, but I'm not a big fan of gingers. I'm not. And, uh, yeah, I gotta keep on track here. There's a lot of little passageways back here. They definitely put their own primitive feng shui on this old vault. So we'll come back to this, I'm sure. Seems like some kind of hub. But we're off. We're gonna see what cool stuff this game has to offer and really bash on it. it. Crap. Yes. <laughs> this is Gorilla's first attempt at an open world game. It's like a living system and stuff. They did okay. But, how is she to do but there's big places where you can tell this is their first rodeo, man. Face work is good. Voice acting is excellent. Collision detection for the hair is terrible. Everybody likes to decorate with Ethernet cables. with us. And wooden balls. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Look at that pasty bitch. You just washed out, you Seattleite. Go back to the suicide capital of the country. Grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. I was an outcast my whole life, no but now I'm a seeker, so first I was a brave, then I'm a seeker, getting promoted like a motherfucker. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. So the parallels for Assassin's Creed and games like Tomb Raider is, is very obvious. This is open world-ish. Kind of like Fable was open world. There's a lot of parts of the map you just can't go. And her parkour skills suck. Like if there's climbing elements, it's it's bird poop ledges or it's wrapped in orange rope. Yellow. Yellow rope. That's how you know if you can climb. She can jump and roll. I'm practically nailed to the ground if not for climbing elements. No matter where I can maybe jump on the low-hanging roof, <laughs> but this face yes. animation is amazing. I, I, I gotta give it up for that. Turn when you are done, or as the need arises. And the ability to have open conversations like this and choose to continue with it or just not interested anymore, so you skip it and going down here, I should be my way. I can go anywhere. What else can I do? Let's let's experiment with this a little bit. But uh, there's not a lot of ethical choices to be made that may affect the game that I'm seeing so far. Perhaps there is, but I haven't seen him. I'm just so glad that fucking blonde kid kills. died. There's a yes. bully in the first quarter of the game, and he's an asshole. And <laughs> he gets Very what he deserves. Alive. And most that did were like O'Doyle rules out here. No, but you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. Have there been other seekers? There have. You are the one, are rare, Neo. <laughs> and most who set out are never heard from again. <laughs> you are the only one now. 
No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. That's the little brat, Rost. What was done with Rost's body? Who cares? I'm afraid there was. Oh wait. Very little left to recover. No, that was kind of like my dad. But what there was. He saved my ass. We buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. Look at these facial twitches. This is this is good. This is where it gets good. There's a few parts that are more broad strokes that are kind of terrible, but the fine details and what they focused on, they they really they really shine. So many have suffered. But they glossed over some shit. Anything I can do to help. What is most important? is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. So like Cain from Kung Fu, I'm going to walk the earth as a seeker. I can go anywhere? Please tell me the map is open now. So I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places. Like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. There you go. Or the ruins of the The rabid world. techno beasts dwell there. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? <laughs> Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the seeker We would learn the truth. Changing. That's why we are not allowed to leave. You guys are living in the past. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder all mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts this post post apocalyptic chick has great teeth foolish enough to enter them but I've been in a ruin it looked a lot I'm wearing like a fucking abacus room. and she's got cannot be so. a big neck of Benwall balls <laughs> then this is something beyond my understanding yeah like most shit here to reveal the truth she practically shit herself when the door scanned me for DNA let's just get on my way now oh wait Maybe there's one more thing to check out. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, side what is missions. most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe... Thought it was a kazoo, didn't you? <laughs> so. I have Ooh. no doubt you will find Tasty people in nougat. need throughout the embrace. Anyway, getting tired of my visit to the old folks' home. Get a fucking companion, dog. Let me go. go. Gates of the embrace. Speak to Varl, Maybe you seem like a cat person. The way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your Smell way, like Aloy, a wet dog. Make sure they I won't put cats past you. Look at those oh, eyes. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. No water is beating on my character's face. It looks like I'm wrapped in saran wrap again. It's so hard to, to make a moist digital body look good. <laughs> soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. That's kind of neat. She's enjoying the rain. Wonder if she tries to catch snow on her tongue when it's snowing. We'll see. So I will be drawing parallels between Origins and this because they are extremely apparent after playing Origins first. I might have made a mistake, but this has got a little bit of different different action, different atmosphere, different techno babble mixed in with some of this archaic shit, and this thing is incredible. The story that I heard from that old lady in the middle of town where she was telling all the little kids, like uh, real rain of fire kind of shit, what will we do when we sleep? Keep one eye on the sky. <laughs> what do we do when we wake? Keep both eyes on the sky. Well, this thing came down from the mountain, and it was controlling all the beasts. It looks like a giant spider on their cave paintings, and apparently it was uh, in charge. Some mystic 
fucked it up and all the all the robo creatures went went kind of primal started behaving independently but this other faction came up found some little ear guitar pick digital relay device and communicator like this so they know about technology too and somehow they've hacked these creatures and made them feral and they're twice as dangerous and now there's more coming out of the woodwork so this is this is pretty much the premise of the game right i'm trying to figure out what's making all these all these creatures super evil and spread territories and save asses and take names when i kick them so let's do it let's do some stuff enough talking enough explaining all this but i'm kind of just easing into it and I did tell you a few qualms. I mean, any game that I'm talking about, Assassin's Creed or not even Tomb Raider, but, you know, maybe Nathan Drake. You can climb shit like this. You can climb on top of stuff like that and like nobody's business. You're friggin' Spider-Man. But I don't know if it's a feminist thing and they're trying to downplay the effects of a woman's upper body strength, but you really gotta just platform your way through this unless there's handholds. But it's possible. You see? It's just... She doesn't use her hands a lot. So we're cool with that. We're gonna try not to let that get to me too much. But the water. Oh, the fucking water effects. Uh, the rain, yeah, sure. It's, it's alright. But I'm talking about the running rivers of KY Jelly. You thought I was joking in the title. No, it's, it's true. We're swimming in Astroglide. Never know when I might need these. And every time you loot a crate, this is really pissing me off in the heat of battle or something. I'm trying to, you know, loot something real fast. If there's a, a crate to be looted, like this one for example, you hold down the button and you're like, okay, great, I looted it. No, no, you have to select this shit now. You have to take all or take. So you're stuck here. You can't do nothing. I'm moving the joystick. You're stuck. It was an oversight. You should be able to stop in the middle of any of that shit, or you should auto pick up. I don't know. Even the even the auto, you know, not not auto, that the stealth kill. You had to buy the stealth kill with skill points. Who the fuck does that? Just give it to me after I learn how to fight. Buy shit. I'll graduate. You should. I like to buy simple shit. Making me double select things. Where's this dude? Where's this dude screaming? Are you talking Where to me? Who the fuck is talking to me? Oh, this dude. Uh, who is they? This is kind of like the little local well, antifa here. I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure. Pastier well, than the ginger. I think I'm gonna call you Mark Zuckerberg, because okay. you look like you a washed-out alien with red eyes. You. You're really short. I'm on. Pasty is a fucking Q-tip. Why are you here? What are you doing here to with harvest your spirit? personal information and sell it without stitcher, your consent? Most Zuckerberg, of our fucker. are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so I thought I'd help out. I should be okay, just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? Yeah, I just don't like him. I don't trust him. He seems flaky. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded, expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. Unless it's made of flesh. All their clothes are sewn with coaxial cables. HDMI monster cables. They didn't have to look for a lot of cordage in this post-apocalyptic. Why is it post-post-apocalyptic? Why do they say and that? Lost. The man who it happens me. and then it happens again. It's a little redundant, don't you think? It's still post-apocalyptic. Not re-post-apocalyptic. Semantics, I guess. I'm really uninterested in what this motherfucker has to say. I could actually care less. I should be on my way. May yeah. Go with you. Going. All I did was rant while I was exchanging information with you. I don't think I gained any knowledge from that. Not that I was listening, but... You're a stick in the mud, homie. And here's some sticks in the snow that I can fashion into arrows. Something I had the skill to do right away. But I can't leap from the bushes and kill something died. without buying the skill good. point. What the fuck, dude? Maybe the pacing was a little off, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Let's take a look at that little skill tree. Look familiar? 
It's just not in the spread out manner of origins, but some of this shit is so simple. Like you can whistle, but you gotta buy it. So things come over and investigate. Why? To learn to whistle, <laughs> I have to spend money to do it. Or skill points. I have a lot. I'm just not really interested in a lot of this stuff. Faster roll. Bigger weapons are being held. Making me more invisible. Balanced aim. I can shoot from ropes. Who gives a shit? It's a little unnecessary. Strike from above. Strike from below. Hmm. How much is that? Cast three. See, it starts getting pretty spendy toward the bottom of this rack. So, yeah. A lot of stuff to upgrade. But not really. And none of it is super spectacular. There's some interesting things here. These question marks are intriguing, but... Maybe they're just not let the cat out of the bag too soon. That there's nothing really exciting to be uh, <laughs> upgrading your character to be able to do. I still keep trying to guide my arrow <laughs> manually, like Origins, but not seeing that yet. See, see, here we go. So it's poop ledges or yellow rope. That's the the climbing signal from the programmer. Okay. Am I not supposed to see another thing? I can't, can't do shit like that. Sometimes you're just stuck from being able to do obvious things. Fucking chink in the armor. For a politically correct reference. Should have brought a cart. Yeah, I should have. I just ran out of space in my backpack. Can I get the fuck out of this joint or what? I see, now you're twisting my nipples. Here we go. This guy. I need to talk to one of these fools. I Missed that. Gate opened. <laughs> because I can't jump over the fucking wall. It's, it's a foot high. This big, beautiful wall is very effective. Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. Before this jaundice takes over. <laughs> Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. This was like the grown-up bully, kind of like the teacher that condones the shit. He's complicit with people bullying people. So yeah, he's a cuck. We don't like him. You dishonor the dead because they spoke of the other students that died with me. You're a nobody. He is rather old and bitter. Watch your tongue. I'm going to tell him he's a nobody. It looks like there's mind, force, and uh, 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 emotional attachment. I'm going to go with mind and psychologically fuck with him because he does have some reservations. Really big ones. You tell this guy you fucked his dad and you're a dude? Yeah, he's going to flip his fucking wig. I, I imagine his buttons are quite large. So we're going to see him lose his shit right now. Here we go. If you think Tirsa and Jezza are traitors, why don't you head up the mountain and say that to their faces? Or do you only talk big when your superiors aren't around? I am the Nora War Chief. And I am a seeker, so do as you're told and open the gate. Told you I like her voice, but I also like what she says. The voice acting is sound. What was that? Looks like we're about to get raided. I thought those were seekers. I'm a seeker, but those things are called seekers? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Look at the pores on her face. Oh, now you're talking. There's a strider out there and some scorpion creatures that are heavily armored. I've never encountered them yet. This is going to be a lot of fun. There's only one. Though. That's, that's not fun. Ooh. Ooh. It goes in and violates them. With Bluetooth rabies. <laughs> what you doing to them? Yes. All right. Doing my best to enjoy this, but there's no flying. And I'm sorry, there's no diving. You barely get to enjoy the water. She disappears in this blue health air gauge. It's just stupid. So Assassin's Creed Origins compared to this in the water. Assassin's Creed beats the hell out of this. Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! This is one step over the old Grand Theft Auto games where you would die if you went into the water. This is one step over Batman where you would fall into the water and it would immediately teleport you to the shore, climbing out of it. Get in you gotta get that. Where's this big monster? There he is. Come on, let's do stuff. Attack! 
Shot him in his ass. That's probably not going to do much. Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad! Whoa! Okay, okay, so this is this is pretty crazy. This is all over the place. I haven't even gotten this tracking down for targeting. I do that one though. These guys are already taking my damage. Let's do it. Let's get the guy. Grab your horse's ass! Go, move it! He's gonna jump on my head. I know it. God! You see that? Oh, the kicking that they do is amazing. <laughs> they they definitely move like real animals. And they did the horse sucker punch kick. They pass me and just rear up. Incredible aiming with the S. <laughs> Ready. Ready yourselves. And I got Today weapons and stuff curse. I should probably use. And this is a tire rope. Oh wait. Like this. Oh, that's a tie things down? I got some. Fire arrows. Oh, that's the one. That's the one with the trap. Attack! Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! <laughs> Is there a trap right there? Did they set it up? Damn. Oh yeah, they're still taking it. Oh no, what is that now? That wasn't very pleasant at all. Ah, can't see anything that's going on. Oh, he's hungry. This one's going all right. This guy. That wasn't eight seconds at all. These things keep coming from. Wow! <laughs> all right, the big beast battles are fun. I'm not even with my bone right now. We, we had a spat, and we're not using each other anymore. Ooh, come on. Jesus Christ. Oh, you're bad. Oh, you're bad. Come on, Scorpion. Scorpion. Come on. Dolph Lundgren looking motherfucker. Nobody saw that movie this time. The destructible environments and the elements that they interact with and throw at you and shit is tight. It is tight. Oh. This is not a close combat. I should probably stay away from him. No, 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 no. The carriers. Now, it's the ticket. Mm. Got you dead to it. Come on. Who's this fucking guy? Yeah. Oh, go ahead now. Oh. I don't care. Red and love. I think I pissed it off. Oh, damn. D damn. What the fuck? What did I just do? I'm activating something I have, but it's not uh, for me. It's good. Oh, I just put a bomb out here. Come on, jump on. Jump on this way. Bomb me up. I know you're coming for me. I know you're going to an NPC. Right next to it. Got him. <laughs> My bomb worked out. Just right. Ah, metal shards, 26% corruption coil, and a metal barn, whatever the hell that is. How'd you do it? Show me. You made them obey you. This is how I hack shit and make them do my bidding. Now I can ride these donkey, horse, bison looking things. As long as I stick this up their ass and give them anal cancer, 
with radio waves. They start Just listening to me. It. I am now a Bluetooth proctologist for that? Robo Beasts. You killed that demon. You're welcome. It's guts from the carcass. The it's it called the Second the Amendment, machines. faggot. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Right to but bare to bow and arrows. Plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the embrace, I guess. Exactly. Explosives and electric I traps. I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but. But what? I think you're a blessing. Different like a genetic life. aberration that turns no your hair blessings. red and your skin white as snow. <laughs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. Cheeks bones like you got mumps. And my thoughts Fucking go hate softball. Especially ladies' softball. Wait, is there male softball? Raise. There should be. There should be. Just another show I don't, I don't have, have to watch. Wait, done. there's so much crap in here. Pick, pick up all this crap. Underhand pitches. What the fuck? Balls the size of newborn baby skull. America's pastime. It's no way to pass time. What a waste of time. Only thing worse is female hockey. The fuck is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's it's a very sturdy weather balloon. <laughs> made of bladders from six different animals. All right. That was weird. But at least they opened the door for me. I can't use that. I really need it. There we go. Take it. Damn, bitch. What now? Oh, perfect. Did I I didn't set this bomb off. I think this is still my bomb. One of those guys must have killed him. Stole my glory. Shit, these trees grow fast. You didn't mention that about the ecology here. Yeah, it's pretty neat looking. Things soaked from melted snow. Ah, she's not exactly opening her mouth and trying to catch him with her tongue. <laughs> but she yeah, do a little do a little enjoying. The elements hand wave. See what this device can do. Okay. Saving. Saved. Just like that. This guy sells you shit, and they all have the same shit. So I think that's kind of cheap. They should have some different stuff, don't you think? I mean I could buy these from any vendor I see. The exact same shit. Enough whining. Nah. Now nah, we got some more. Shock wire pack. That actually worked pretty well. And the freeze balls, yeah. Wait, those are shards? I'm spending shards on this? No, I'm cool. I'm not trying to spend any more shards. Good outfits and weapons. No swords or anything, just really primitive slingshots. I feel like a female David and Goliath over here with this crap. You can see a machine gun. This, this dude was carrying around something that was ripped off of a larger machine, and I got to pick it up and use it for a minute. That was fun. Sharp shot bow. The, the sling. And I have this, and that's the better sling, so I don't even want to see that anymore. Such a waste. Such a waste of all this crap in here. I get a free sample box every once in a while. Make sure you pick it up. And then I think you got to go into your menu and, and open it. Which is also a little redundant. Great, I don't have any more. No more space for you. But they stay in the box in your inventory. You can open it later, I guess. Whatever. Just weird. It's a special power set. Activate quest. Nope. No, it's fine. And I can craft my own shit. Sometimes. Let's see, what can I craft? Modify weapons. 
So you can put stuff in these little slots, but you gotta be careful because once you put it in there, you gotta destroy this weapon. We're never getting them back. And as you can see, I only have four. I've been playing for a little while. Handling 14, damage an extra couple. Whoa. Handling 30, nothing else. These are really terrible. Damage coil. All right, whatever. Get rid of those going on. First modification, how about them apples? Trophy earned. First mod. Tinker skill not learned. Oh, I got you. All right, well, I'm just gonna put one in there for now. And that's what you can do to these. The trip caster. The rope caster. So this is a trip wire. You shoot them with ropes and then pin them to the ground and it takes them a minute to bust out of them. That's something I could probably upgrade. Nope, I want to keep my rears. Not going to do it. It's tempting. Tempting, but I'm out. The fast travel is a bitch. Hey, you, uh, you spend sleeping bag tokens to travel across the map. Otherwise, you got to do it Run! manually. It's your sister, Hello, huh? Hello. Who's screaming at me? I'm trying to go show these people how terrible the water effects are. Who's who's yelling? Can everybody just chill out a little bit? Who's just yelling at me? Damn. I gotta get a PS4 Pro so I can see the super style graphics of this, but uh, this is the KY Jelly River. This is water everywhere, and there is not a single well-animated drop of digital juice to spare. Yes, this is pretty archaic. I like how it's interacting with her, and I do like the little dragonflies. Look at the little dragonflies, one of the most agile insects ever. Looking down through it, not too shabby either, but no diving. See, that's what happens when you dive. He's that's as underwater as she gets. The camera doesn't even go underwater. Maybe I'm being super critical after seeing Assassin's Creed Origin water and never wanting any water to look any less spectacular. But this shit is just so five years ago. Raging river my ass. It just looks gelatinous. The particle effects are terrible. Even in the opening screen where it's showing the name and you're like, select game, you know, it, you see this little waterfall. It just looks awful. Awful. And this shit, why do you gotta make it so apparent that yellow means climb on it? Wouldn't you think I would try if I saw this over a river? What am I not trying to get my moccasins wet? What is this doing here? Little qualms, little qualms, but a big thing like the under water areas being non-existent and not an ability to fly without using some kind of glitch where you ride up a cliff in a house and glitch through the wall. I don't know. I'm hoping that some of the upgrades and updates that they put on this address the water issue. Or perhaps this is just how it looks where you don't have a PlayStation Pro. <laughs> so, yeah, my concern. Yeah, all these perches. Look, up in the trees. It's yellow. I must be able to go there. Okay, so this is where I can get up on these pools and mess with them. Up their butt. With my Bluetooth enema. Hold to overdrive. Whoops. Okay, Override. <laughs> there we go. See, right up his butt. Come on, come on. Bluetooth butt gets out. You're mine. It worked. There we go. First time I'm Bad riding boy. a steed. That's more like it. Tapping X will increase the mount's speed. Tapping circle will get off. R1 a melee. Oh shit. Okay, this might use a triangle. Yeah, he kicks him. I don't swing my staff. I shoot arrow. Can. And I turn <laughs> all over the fucking place. And it goes slow-mo. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of neat. It's cool to be able to I see one up close when it's not trying to stomp my guts out. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. Why couldn't you not ride them all? Like, that would be great. Whoa, like back kick. 
Is it holding it down? Yeah, oh yeah, moonwalking my friggin' cow horse. Yes! Okay. I like the maneuverability here. Let's see how you run. They saw us. Well, I'm riding their friend. Wouldn't they be okay with that? Uh, if he condones, I wouldn't they? Wow. They're powerful. <laughs> Let's see if I can keep it. Oh, no. Use the steed. God damn it. Move. Oh, yeah. That was devastating. Oh, damn. They fucked my guy up pretty easy there. Oh, no. just knocked me off of him. Okay. Get up. Ooh. He's rolling all over the fucking place. I gotta give it to him. They go all out. These little raptors go all out. Flipping and throwing their bodies at you. Guess I gotta get off to be able to collect things. That's another difference between this and Origins. You can pick up things from horseback. difficult to get them going. Ah, yeah, it's another thing. You can't change the buttons. You can't map this any differently than what they give you and otherwise fuck off. The same goes for the HUD. You can't remove the HUD or decrease any of the HUD. It's not like the interface is so difficult that you'd always need to have all this crap all over the place. Maybe just a disappearing one, a dynamic one. I don't know. I would prefer a lot less shit going on on my screen. Or at least the option to remove it when I'm skilled enough to trust my own judgment. Look at that terrible shit. I don't even like how the, the, the water is reflecting foamy floatiness on top there. It's just it's so cheap. It's so cheap. Don't like it. Fire's great. The rain is alright. The wind in the trees is beautiful. The sky is gorgeous. The flare... The Lens flare effects, it's very good. It's very good. It's just when you get down to the fine details, you start to be a bitch. He's a bitch to control. He just, he keeps going on his own. I don't have to press anything. He just kind of trots and, okay, now he's slowing down. Yeah, he's enjoying himself. I need you to act like you got somewhere to be, motherfucker. This is definitely a little faster. Getting around a little quicker. At least I can heal from the top of a steed. It's your sister, Alara! Who's calling? Who's calling me? Who keeps telling me about my fucking sister? I'm way too far away from that chick. Oh, wait, what's that? Hold on. I see the climbing areas. This is where she starts parkouring. When there's shit to parkour onto, she wouldn't be able to grab onto this lichen-covered rock. Not without proper handholds. But I can leap from a mountain and throw a fucking grappling hook out when I'm in mid-air and lasso something, which seems pretty skillful. Is that you? Is that who we're talking to? Do you need help? You're the one who survived the proving. Yes, I do need help. Got some Farsi on her face. <laughs> Ten years ago, my brother was cast out. His sentence Far ended, but he didn't come back. His camp was empty and covered in blood. Covered in blood? You, um, you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him, and that's what they found. Great skin All for not I having any soap. Is, what is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand. Alright, this 
Uh, this bitch is just sitting here, worrying herself into a hole. Yeah, why are you out here alone and not looking for help? What are you doing out here all alone? Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brom's sentence was over. Then I cut three more. But he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him, and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The braves said he must be dead. But I have Got it. Okay, your brother's missing. What was his crime? He was running? Why was your brother cast out? Rom was always a little different. A little touched. <laughs> Soft in the head, huh? A cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour. And the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brom struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Spirits made him do it, he said. Hmm. This sounds like that Gary Sinise movie where his John Malkovich years. brother is a big retard. I never should have left him alone. Of mice and men. <laughs> yeah, he's a little soft in the head. The forgotten. What do you mean forgotten? All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent, banishing them from her eternal Brom used to say So much talky talky. I do like the facial animations though, they're kinda hypnotizingly done well. That is how it must be. But just find him then. I just can't stand a whining woman that don't do anything to fix her own fucking problems except sit on top of a goddamn mountain with her shoulders slouched. You're you're no fucking Michonne, I'll tell you that, bitch. No Michonne. This is a good one. I, I like this little detail, how she's using something to slide down the rope. She used a tool, not strip the skin and tendons and start to scratch the bone on her fingers from going 90 miles an hour down a rope. See, that's realism right there, a small feature. I probably used my tiara, but the only thing you can customize on this bitch besides the really gaudy, overbearing battle togs that she's able to choose are Wear the tiara or don't wear the tiara. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the ability to make this bitch even a minute amount sexier than she is not currently. Would have been a good thing. But no, they weren't going for sex appeal. They were going for female empowerment, and that's probably one of the main reasons I put this game on the back burner. I mean, they already stole Indiana Jones with the Tomb Raider shit. And we stole it back with Nathan Drake. But now we're going back into whole female empowerment games. I'm just glad there's some sci-fi. Pissed there's no swimming. Pissed there's no legitimate flying. Pissed you can't remap the buttons because they're terrible. I remapped the buttons for Origins and it was a lot better to battle. But I hate using R1 and R2 to swing my fucking sticks. Fuck you guys. Nope. Don't, don't fuck me. Don't fuck me, don't fuck me. I can't get my health. <laughs> I can't get my health. Use the health. There we go. See? I was pressing the wrong button so many times. I'm still doing that. Mm. Let's play in the water. Come on. Oh, shit. The light. The light. And shit like that. Not being able to run up a fucking grade like that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So if I track him, R2, is he gonna stay in my field of view? Nope, there's no way to lock onto this fool. There's just not. Get the fuck out of here, Sesame Street! Gotcha. I'd make a great lesbian golfer with that swing and this bone structure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. A cheap stab at golfers. The foliage. Let's talk about that. It's gorgeous. It's very nice. It's just a shame the water sucks so badly. If I could pump up the graphic quality, maybe it would get better. Maybe. So we shall see. These are helpful. The boss They're bites there, are tedious and annoying with the camera, not being able to track them. Maybe it's something I can purchase. Maybe you'll find I'm doing it wrong. So please, investigate. Because that's a pain in my ass. As is having the square button be the crouch button, and the circle button being the roll button. Hmm. 
Yeah. Just awkward. Feels like it was designed by a French guy. They always have their shit skewed a little funny. So yeah, the graphics are uh, okay outside the water. Controls could be a little buggy. Camera is a little annoying. Characters are <laughs> a little bit over emotional or lack of emotional sometimes. No Grammys. Or wait, no. No Oscars will be won here. <laughs> but good sound. They do have very distinct creature sounds. So you know what animal's coming at you from what angle and what attack he's using. So the moans and groans he makes. Ooh, motherfucker's got plasma gun. Damn. See, if I had heard that seconds sooner and been able to respond, that would be fine, but I was looting him. So, since I was in the middle of looting him, I couldn't just abort the loot and roll away, because I hear a fucking Velociraptor 2000 jumping behind me. I was just stuck looting. Don't loot when you're in a battle. Just don't. Just don't do it. It's, it's not prudent to survive. Oh! That could hurt. Oh, yeah, that hurt a little bit there. So, you gotta press circle to go down. So many things that I could say about this in a negative manner. I'm trying to be positive. It, it's not the game I started playing and I was like, oh, I want to really get back to that. I thought it would be. I really did. I thought, oh, I've been saving this one and hopefully it's, it's not just a bunch of faux hype. It's got its, it's got its pluses and minuses, man, but they're running pretty equal right now. Can't whistle for my steed. Can't summon a crow to surveil the landscape. What's all that shit in the air right now? Oh. Hmm. Interesting, it's snowing. It's just not sticking. Another big gate. We got King Kong on the other side of this bitch. This must be that forbidden zone or some shit. What the fuck is that? Something rather large over there. Perhaps I'll find those space needle long necks on the other side. Watch yourselves! Bring it closer! Closer! What did I walk into over here, fellas? That was a rabid one. Speak. Varo, I take it? It's a guy from Star Wars. Aloy. The outcast who won the proving. So you My reputation your precedes me. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the... No. A traitor named Olin. Yeah. Well, then you should head north to Mother's... If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled. And Must be where all the seekers started. went off and disappeared too. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh, only because Sona went missing. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? No, I don't want to know. The killers are. Yes. Don't tell me. Bandits too. Sounds yeah, like bandits gotcha. Hard. People and and beasts. You said War Chief Sona is missing. Even when the war party was. I keep holding out that there's some kind of vital chiefs. information I should be learning from this, but it's probably just backstory. The killers. You didn't volunteer. Of course I did, but Sona denied me that. She ordered me to all this character this development to guard the embrace. So there's no if that's your thing, you're gonna love the hell out of this out game. There. You can so stretch this out as far as you want to, but for the Ugh. sake of entertainment, I'm getting over this jungle fever. Let's let's talk about the proving real quick. The proving. How did you know? and I spoke to survive and get back to this Hunger Games here. Thank you. She died saving others. Oh, that was his sister better death. that died during the proving. Time for me to go. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site, 
A wooded hut. You might be able to pick up her trail there. I, I get it, Barl. I'll see what I can do. That was actually a normal conversation I had with a man, besides my father-ish character. And then there was this guy with mutton chops that looked like two long necks making out in his face. And he would do nothing but hit on this chick. He was just... Every conversation piece that we held, it would end with him trying to get me to go out for a drink or three sometime. He's just fucking so hard up. The guy with the mohawk. You'll see him in a minute here, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, what a fucking... May the goddess protect what a dick. It was just completely unrelated to the questions I was asking him. <laughs> He's trying to hit on me every time. Every time. This better not turn out to be some Mass Effect shit where I can choose my lovers by furthering our relationships through trust, character development, team building skills. <laughs> it's just silly. Last thing I want to do. <laughs> what the fuck? You went all in on that. Typical woman. Putting a lot more energy into it than required. By not thinking smart, but working harder. Okay, so I see a lot of beasties out there. I thought I could scan from incomprehensible distances, but no, I guess not. Guess not. So you're supposed to kill every little tiny critter you see, because they can yield you equipment to upgrade. Oh, what's that? God damn it, get down! Get down with your bad self! Can I... Can I butt cancer this guy with Wi-Fi? Let's try. Let's try and butt cancer this Wi-Fi guy. Stick my Bluetooth up your ass. I gotta find a way to override more machines. More machines. Okay, good. She's already on the game. This is what we're doing. This guy's questioning something. Do not come and investigate. They're aquatic. They're amphibious. I want to know who the fuck is out here oiling these motherfuckers. Who changes a nut or a bolt? Do they regrow appendages that are lost or rusted off? Do they work in salt water or are they just totally ineffective at the sea? I may never know. But I'm gonna come and get these mutagen assholes ass here. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can stick that right up his friggin' robo butt. And then I can rob him, but that's it. Grazer shit acquired. Strangely satisfying. But an odd choice. There we go. Little neck shot. So I can stab him right in the butt. Right in the neck, and they'll go down just the same. But I wouldn't give for an instruction manual. There's some piggies. Got to ask. Oh, you're a tough little pig. Come on, this is boring. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. All this shit I pick up. It's everywhere. Look at the little... The I'll find a use for you. Glow bugs. Lightning bugs. Oh, they went away when you get near them. That's, that's very realistic. Goodbye, glow bugs. Regular fern gully. Alright, board. Going. Jumping into the lubrication. The splash is even okay, if not a little bit bland, but with good water, that could have been so much better. About to get loud. I got a grip to go still. I think the weather system, the day night system, uh, is, is working autonomously. Should be night soon once that crests over 
the mountain. Where's this guy? What's up, Keeper? This is the hunting grounds, right? What do you do here exactly? Keep stuff. You bear the mark of a seeker. I've heard of those, but never seen one. He's a keeper, I'm a seeker. You have the matriarch's leave to come and go as you like from the sacred land? Yes, but I would have That's gone right, Woodwind. Permission. What about is that it? So? Then maybe you and I can speak plainly. Truth is, I've had dealings with the Karja. I represent an organization called the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian. We test <sighs> hunters with trials. You might be, just to be clear. <sighs> More about you, about the trials, hundred laws, star trials. Oh, I can start trials. Mmm. Mmm. Time for me to head out. I'll be here. Alright, so he's got he's got quests up here. Hunting trials, Nora. I found the groundskeeper and now I can do the hunting ground trial quests. I should, I should probably do that, but I'm not going to. Not yet. Okay, you're sleeping. Oh, fuck that. It's kind of dope, though. I really like how she falls. I don't usually say that about women, but she falls terrifically. Jesus Christ, fly the navigator. Can't see shit. Oh, Jesus. Didn't matter, I killed two of them. Press up to heal, yes. Healing would be good. Jesus Christ. I wonder if I can tie these fools together with my tire thing. Nope, I'm just I'm just attached him to the ground. Okay. Time to go kill him. Move! Move, lady! Move like you got purpose. I'll keep you for my little farm animals here. Guys don't get to go nowhere. This guy's still trying to make a break for it. Come here. This ain't gonna hurt but for a second. That's right. All that shit going on. Some green carbon fiber here. Very interesting. Yep, sun's down. It's a small difference from Origins, as the day and night is adjusted by you, I do believe. Unless it's just a very long day night cycle. Dudes to talk to, things to pick up. Petroleum jelly to rub out from my moccasins. Maybe I can scan it. Is that a corpse at his feet? I will search the corpse of your victim. <laughs> Who the hell are you? There's oh. danger ahead, girl. Danger for you. What the fuck is happening? This is normal. You've been to jail, he's got the He's got the Trespass tattooed, uh, fucking teardrops. Strange phrase, the pain of death. See? This one's in no pain at all. Who was he? A thief, slaver, a killer. Jesus. The kind that Look at his chest. This guy waxes like a Ken doll. For all told me there would be Everybody's skin is far too good in this world. Well, it's not all good news. The they rivers must be stem cells and white blood cells or something. That's why it's gelatinous. Seriously, don't give a shit what this guy has to say with his like eyeliner and shit. <laughs> bandit camp, devil's thirst. New bandit camp. All right. Found stuff I probably could have bumped into myself. This guy fucked everybody up. See, I got stuck in it. I got stuck in eluding. I can't just roll away from... Searching someone's corpse or a box or something, and that pisses me off. Oh, it's an old relay station or some kind of power power tower. Or what was this? This must have been some kind of signal booster. Go 
ground based antenna here. And what is that? I think I can tell. I don't think I can tell anymore. Could be many things. See, that's what I expect to happen to all these monsters when they don't get their daily dose of WD-40 They turn into that shit. But no, these things are made of special alloy that can resist elements. This is interesting. Ooh, shit. Oh, I wonder what's down oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, at least I can jump from a height. I hurt myself too bad. As long as it's in the jelly. Ooh, a metal flower. This is the first one I found of these. Mark II. These are something special. Mark I, I guess. Okay. Well, I found my first Easter egg, or special collectible. Might have a purpose. This is in the cave. Whoa. Trophy earned. First metal flower found. Must be finite. Got Prince's underground layer here. Purple cave. Purple cave. Definitely is that a now. person? Is that a fucking person? Or a super suit of armor? Because I want it. Want it. I'd rather cover this bitch up like Metroid as opposed to see her ginger face again. He ain't moving. And he looks amazing. Let's hope it's a size one. I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. These devices are missing power cells. I'll have to find power cells. To that is an awesome thing I can gain access to by collecting power cells. I knew they were going to make me work for that. I get to look at it, but I can't have it. Oh, not yet. One of two gather. That's it? I just need two? Just right in here? All right. Tell me I picked there. up two of these and didn't Six. notice. I just oh, need to slot in one more. Oh man, I should have had one more. Oh well. Why are you uh why are you still a question mark? Why uh why are you tell me what you're doing? No? I will hit it! Seems like the appropriate reaction from somebody from her culture. Smack it with a stick. Alright, this is, seems to be the extent of what's happening here until I get another power cell. So putting a pin in it for now goodbye super suit I will be back crisis 3 <laughs> what the hell are you doing such a weirdo this woman Damn, it's kind of scary. The uh, the unknown, as it were, because I'm not able to investigate down there, so anything could be down there. <sighs> Can't climb the, the juicy rope. Perhaps this is one of those instances where we can swim. Because there's a cave or something? Can I go under this, this problem I'm encountering? Uh, can't get out of this fucking hole. on the flower. This is where this is. But how the hell do I get in? Oh my god, the camera's a problem. I'm struggling. I'm fighting. I'm fighting with it. Shit balls. I'm missing something here. Ooh. Ultra weave armor, experimental personal armor, nanofiber construction, inlaid micro projector network. Hmm. So there's two of these. 
these numbers. They must be related to segments of the cycle. God damn it. Yeah, I'm straight fuckered. Did I just cheat the system and get down here ahead of schedule or something by jumping down that hole? Because I'm trapped. Nope. Trying to trying to open the door. No, I'm not doing it. Nothing. Nothing over here. All right, we've come to a uh, Mexican standoff. Perhaps an impasse. I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. Okay, so I'm missing something. Missing something. Just want to get the hell out of here. And there's nothing to do. Well, how was I supposed to get down here if not jump down that damn hole? Hmm. Back and forth we go. I think I might have dished on this game enough. We had a couple small little battles. We gave some... Digital animals, some butt cancer. Rode them like yesterday's Studebaker. And there's got to be a way to escape this pit. Looking for handholds, looking for bird poop pigeon ledges. Anything yellow down here to climb? I can't scale this series of vines right here, which looks semi-plausible, but no. What's that? There we go. Bird poop ledges. Hmm. Follow the squab turds. I was close with that vine. But that was actually a well-hidden handhold. I thought they were going to be more blatantly obvious for the casual gamer. Jesus, look at those stars. Like the ant fight in a TV with no reception. Unrealistic. Oh yeah. Back out. Back at it. Ah, God, she's hideous. Look like Charlize Theron from the monster movie. Oh, what is that? Like a squirrel or something. What the hell is that? Raccoon? Now I can make that hat. Yes. Leave it to Beaver to make a nice raccoon hat. Ooh, that was extremely sexist and offensive to women. <laughs> Sorry about the beaver comment. I didn't didn't mean it like that. I really meant leave it to Beaver. I was not referring to her vagina. Look at that waterfall down the hill there. It looks like something from Willy Wonka. We got some white chocolate happening here. Transparent chocolate? No way. Gelatinous KY jelly water. Oh, what a bitch, dude. Just, just stupid. Ooh, Foxy lady. Maybe I should try to find her. I got meat. I got more furs. This guy wants me to light something. Can I light these from over here? No, <laughs> that would be cool if I can save it from over here. If it's an eye shot. Why wasn't that a thing? That could have been an addition to this game. I mean, if that was what it needed to be saved, why couldn't I just have shot it with a fire arrow? Seems like there's so much ado about not much here. And it's so restricting. You can't climb anything you want. You're you're kind of like playing Fable, where there's just little courses that you can explore, but they're just small areas. How much of this map have I even looked over here? Let's see. Let's see what we got going on in this map, fucker. Okay, I still got a lot to look at. <laughs> still got a lot to go, and this is the new area. It's probably starting right here at this little umbilicus. That's the frozen wilds. So as far as the percentage of the game I've accomplished, not much, but all this shit is is not much happening. Like I don't imagine there's a lot over here either on the coast. All the water is relatively two-dimensional. Can't go in it. Under it. God. 
Seems like such a missed opportunity here. And this was a really high budget game with lots of advertisement. Camera's a piece of shit. You're Aloy, aren't you? They say you've been made a seeker with rite of passage from the sacred land. Yes. To track the killers. All these warriors seem like pacifists the way they're approaching me here. But my sister Nicola is like you. Next thing out of their mouth is going to be, do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal robot savior? Nakoa, Red Rage, you don't go with her. So it's fun to be able to kind of ask around, but it's just it's just whittling you through backstory and it all ended when the motivation, <laughs> why you're doing this, and who is, is who. Don't really care too much. You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred, she said. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, mother blood. She must have passed through mother's crap. So there we go. Side quest by talking to him. I'm sure would have got that just by saying goodbye. You can't fly unless there's some like weird hack that you do and make your steed gallop through the air like you're fucking. What's that reading rainbow chick? No. What's that? What's that cartoon with the rainbow chick that rides a horse? Damn it! It's actually a good thing I don't remember what that is because that'd be pretty weird. To have that kind of knowledge rolling around upstairs. It'll come to me. That brave. Sounds like he's suffering. Yes. It's only a matter of time before he passes on. Can't say this game ain't diverse. I've seen people die before. Women and beardos everywhere of every different creed. I want to be strong like you. What? Well then stop rubbing toilet paper in? juice on your face. I don't even there should be some in stashes along grave trails to the east. I don't suppose you could check the stash. God, you're here catches of dream willow. Tell me what you need again. Dream willow. An oil made from the bark of water willows. My supply is gone. Ooh. But yeah, hunters speak of which. stashes along grave. There should be some left in the stashes along trails to the east. You said that you um, wanted to be strong like me. I take it you know who I am. Yeah, you're an 18-year-old woodland chick <laughs> that's just trying to get her social skills down. You got it. And this is Whip Woman. I'll check the stash. You will. Insult to injury. So I'm racking up quests left and right here. Obviously plenty to do. Lots to see early on in this game, but still not finding myself with a lot of uh, enthusiasm to look further. I'm just... I need to get to these big monsters. I really do. Just give me one second. And yeah, that'll do it for the end of this video. Uh, here comes the sun. That's a nice little sunset there. I think the color's a little saturated. But yeah, that's where we're going to close it off. Please review all the complaints and comments I've left on here for yourself. Enjoy.